So just did my resupply for the Wind River Range. It'll be five, five and a half days, and I'll show you what I got. So breakfast, do Pop-Tarts, some peanut butter, and Snickers. So I have 12 king-size Snickers bars there. Um, lunch is gonna do crackers with cheese. That's a pound, that's six ounces. And then dinner is gonna be ramen with tuna. And then I've got a couple extra little soup packets for flavor. And then three bags of chips. And that should be about 26, 27,000 calories. A um, little more than I need, but I always like to carry a little extra. Getting a lot of partial hitches around Dubois. Um, this guy brought me up here six miles out of town, probably 12 more miles up the road. And uh, it's been, been hitching for an hour now. So hopefully not too much longer to get back up on the trail. Back on trail, it's about two hours. Um, but hitching is just all about persistence. If you stand out there long enough, somebody will pick you up. It's such a odd thing though, because you always feel like no one's ever gonna stop. And then somebody stops and you forget about all that entirely. So I don't know, hitching is a weird thing. Coming down over there. Hopefully I can avoid that today. There's a fat little porcupine moving very slow. Getting close to the Wind River Range. Go through past that lake and then up into the mountains. This is the Green River. This would be good fishing here.
Wow, look at these views. Going up Cube Rock Pass now. Um, won't go too far because it's getting dark. I don't want to climb up these passes. Pathfinding can be kind of hard in the dark on some of these passes, but this is the Knapsack Coal alternate. Um, probably one of the most spectacular places on the whole CDT. I'm just going to go up to Cube Rock Pass and then hop back over to the regular CDT. Knapsack Coal, it, um, it's just a really hard climb. What I remember, it took a long time, a lot of loose rock, and just don't have that amount of time right now. So, skip it. Um, but I'll do the Circuit of the Towers alternate. That's another really beautiful spot. Uh, this whole place is just probably the most beautiful section of the entire CDT. And I have really good weather, which should hold, so I'm happy about all that. It's a lot like the Mahusik Notch, just the boulder field. Took half an hour to get through all that bullshit, and you can see I camp right there, so haven't made it very far. What a pain in the butt. That's a pretty hard climb. That is why I am not going to go up Knapsack Pole because it's like that. It's just rocks, loose rocks. And you're just trying to find your own path straight up the mountain. So I'm going to get to the top here, take in the view, and then uh, hop over. We connect to the CDT. Wow. This is Cube Rock Pass. It is one of the most spectacular places on any of the three long trails. I think this might be, yeah, my favorite place on any of the trails. So now I'm going around the lake. Go up this pass, that's Shannon Pass. Knapsack Coal is over here and around. So much climbing. Go over this pass, 
and then I'll be back on regular CDT. like an alien world up here. Some storm clouds building up. Um, hoping that they will pass me by. The wind is pushing that way, so I think I can be okay. But you definitely don't want to be up here in a thunderstorm. There's no tree cover. Yeah, bouncing between 10 and 11,000 feet all day. Not looking great. Um, hopefully I can stay south of all that. Doesn't look good. Sitting under this little grove of trees just waiting for the thunder and lightning to pass. These things usually go quick in the mountains, so 15 minutes, half an hour should be good. Now it's hailing a little bit, but I think most of the storm has passed by. Kind of got lucky. It uh, passed me on both sides, I think. Lots of thunder still. Looks like it snowed up at the higher elevations. Well, this is gonna be a cold river crossing. This is not too deep. <sighs> Endless up and down, but the views are pretty hard to beat. Finally, all the rain and hail has stopped.
And it's hailing again. At least it's not rain. Wild, just one pass over. Looks like they didn't get any sort of snow or hail. It's already starting to melt pretty quick. I'm gonna keep an eye on the weather and uh, get my weather update for my Garmin. Because I think there's more storms and snow and whatnot today and tonight. And if that is the case, I don't want to be up in the Cirque Loop because there's three passes there that are about 11,500 and the rest of the um, trail up there, it's all above 10,000 feet and there's basically no tree cover. So not a place you want to be when it's really cold and there's bad weather. Um, so that's the case, and I'll just take the official CDT, which is a lower elevation route, more around 9,000 feet, more in, in tree cover, and uh, get to, uh, I'm blanking on the name of the town, but I get to Highway 26, and then hitch into town from there, probably be, end up being Sunday. All this weather has definitely slowed me down. Um, trying to pack up in the morning and get up. It's really hard when it's cold and all your stuff is wet and there's snow on the ground. So losing some time with that. And it's just slower going. Uh, but we'll see, it's pretty cold this morning. With the wind it's probably lower 30s right now. Sure is beautiful though. A little bit of hail coming down. So the Cirque alternate, I go somewhere up in there and into those ranges. The uh, CDT goes along the outside there. Um, looking at the clouds and forecast tonight, says more snow, more rain tomorrow as well. Um, I'm gonna take the lower elevation route. This time of year, this kind of weather, and uh, not the time to take chances with weather. So, be a little bit of easier route as well. Uh, 2,000 feet less climbing. So if we get to town a little bit earlier as well. This is to the north and east. Looking pretty nasty. So apparently 2020, there was some massive wind event through here and uh, created just an incredible mess of blowdowns. A lot of it has been cleared now, 
But when I get to Big Sandy, I'm gonna take the road because apparently the stretch after that is still really, really bad. Just imagine all these not cut laying over the trail. What a pain that would be. Pretty gross day. Definitely the right decision to not to go to freaking Circuit the Towers and trying to be messed with this stuff up at like 10, 11,000 feet trying to go over those passes. Some do this road walk. Um, a little bit lower elevation and reconnect with the trail in 20 something miles. Yeah, nasty day. It's finally clearing up a little bit. It looks like there's rain and hearing thunder from the south and then from the northeast. It's a big line of rain coming in. It's been 21 miles since Big Sandy.